Hello, Googas. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Mm-hmm. Today was Tuesday. There are two grades this morning. And mm-hmm. tomorrow's Wednesday. There are late start. And gold meetings continue. Exactly. And I think also the Art Masters continues. Yeah. And uh, since it is Tuesday today, I have my Turtle Tuesday. For my Turtle Tuesday, I'll be talking about turtles hibernating and their metabolism slowing down. When someone's been, uh, when like a turtle's metabolism slows down, then it, it, it doesn't eat that much and it just like slows down. Doesn't really do yeah. that much. Can't relate. <laughs> yeah, I can relate. It's those lazy Sunday mornings in bed. But uh, most pet turtles do not need to hibernate because basically you have an environment for them. Like usually you have like a heating, uh, like a heating pad. But uh, also, but if it is cool enough, they will. Uh, their metabolism will slow down. So like if if you don't heat it up enough, they don't be scared if they're like uh, if they're just like not eating that much. But uh, yeah, so uh, the, some turtles that do hibernate, if you don't like, if you don't own them and they're just chilling in a pond, is uh, actually some pond turtles, some desert tortoises, and some uh, box turtles, which are also a tortoise. And uh, yeah, so like pretty much, don't be afraid if your turtles just yeah. chilling out. And I've seen Jacob's turtle habitat before, and it's pretty set up. Like, there's a heating thing, like, yeah. the light. I have two heating. So, yeah. Jacob's really caring for his turtle, because he cares a lot about turtles. Thank he even you. brought this as a special gift. Thank oh. you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah. And so here is uh, Isaiah with the boys' sports. The boys' A and B basketball information is coming soon. And in the world of NBA basketball last night, the Warriors won 105 to 100. Here's Alyssa with the girls' sports. Basketball information is coming soon, and I have some more facts. So in the 2016 Olympics, which is this year, the U.S. women's basketball team got first place with eight wins and zero losses, the only team to be undefeated. And if you look at their roster, they're all at least six foot, and that's pretty crazy because I thought I was tall, and I, I guess not. So here's Caitlin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. O Lord God, you restore St. Angela's sight when she was blind. Help us to see your love among us and never be blind to our faith. St. Angela devoted her life to caring for disabled. Grant us compassion to always help those in need and the dedication of a faithful life as she did. As St. Angela taught young girls who had an education, may we always value our teachers. Bring us closer to you, O Lord God, and lead us on your journey to heavenly kingdom. St. Angela Marici, pray for us, amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Here are Jack and Jacob. And also, just a reminder, reminder today is the last broadcast that Jacob and I, or all the eighth graders, are going mm-hmm. to be on. So no less either. Oh, wait, actually, oh, wait, no, because no, tomorrow's afternoon. Yes. Yeah, and, and I'm super Thursday excited. Thursday won't work, and yeah. nor Friday. But I'm yeah. super excited for Viamo because uh, Me too. I think all the eighth graders have to pack because I'm, I'm a little... Lazy for that. And like none of the other eighth graders tell us what it's like, so it's a surprise. Yeah. We want we're excited. But remember, Cougars, if you want to enjoy Advent, now, now is the, the time. time.